All right. Mike seems to be being moved up. Adjusted on my head. Uh, assistant connection, maybe? Maybe, baby. Well, howdy, folks. I'm Cody with Ironverse Comics. Uh, doing the second, and it's been a long, long time since I did uh, the first one. Uh, doing the second crowdfunding comics corral. Basically what we'll do. We'll be uh, looking through campaigns, discussing them, talking to them. Well, talking about them. Um, I don't really want to uh, give away the fact that I can talk to machines directly to uh, crowdfunding campaigns in particular. It's a very odd uh, superpower. They don't usually have too much to say. So, uh, anywho. <laughs> now, we'll be checking them out and... Uh, we're going to start off with the best one out there right now. And that is ours. <laughs> I don't know. I am uh, I tend to be a more humble fellow. so. But we are going to start with Jack uh, number three. And we'll be checking in on, on it here and there throughout the stream. If you folks are interested, please, in chat, let me know if there's a specific book on any platform that you'd like me to take a look at. Um, I'd love to, uh, if you want to hear my thoughts or any of that, just please let me know. Otherwise, we're just going to be doing it kind of from the hip. I'm going to be looking at things that stand out to me, things that are uh, uh, outstanding, period. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll see what we can do and uh, see how much content. But first, a word from our sponsors. Jack Irons, the Steel Cowboy, issue number three, live on Indiegogo right now. We're almost at 27%, which is great. Uh, of course, it'd be greater to have more, but one step at a time and patience and persistence and all of that. So, uh, anything new here to talk about, or do I just want to go through it? I think I'm just going to go through it. How can you be the top predator if there's something you cannot kill? Jack Irons rides again. Very excited for this. Uh, wonderful pages. In fact, Maxi keeps just putting out freaking pages. Um, he's working on page five right now. It came out so cool. <laughs> well, coming out so cool. So it's a work in progress. Uh, you know what? My stream. I'll do what I want. Don't tell me what to do. Uh, no, but you guys are going to get a shirt. You guys are awesome. Um, not too many folks check these out anyway, so uh, I'm not too uh, worried. Um, about uh, somehow a, a massive leak ruining the book. Because it's not really, this is a, a scene from a scene. So, uh, <laughs> it's not, uh, not anything crazy. Why oh, you're open. These random things. I, ah, uh, and this computer, uh, my browser in particular, has got to be crazy infected or something. Um, because it ends up with, like, 
8,000 to 11,000 freaking privacy traces each time uh, I close it, and those privacy traces end up uh, communicating a lot and uh, really eating up my computer power. So, uh, anywho, things are opening, and I have to reset the computer quite a few times after cleaning, and blah, blah, blah. So, that's, that's where we're at. That's where we're at. But let's check out this very cool page. Well, let's check out this very cool two-thirds of a page. Wants to let me. Whoa, there we go. Now there's page five. Jack Irons, the Steel Cowboy, issue number three, live on Indiegogo right now. Support the best of the Weird Space West and help Ironverse Comics put the frontier back into the final frontier. Get cowboy freaking science fiction back into the mainstream. Firefly tried, did all right. Huge cult following. Didn't help it too much. Got it a new movie. That's great. The Mandalorian, extreme success after so many failures for Star Wars Disney. Well, not failures. Critical controversy that uh, could have been home runs, easy home runs. Uh, we are trying to do something very different. I think you folks will like it. I think you folks will like it. I mean, look at this. Look at this. Based off of a pinup that we did in issue number two. But it's also part of the lore. Uh, with issue number two, we did a few pinups that were preview stuff of what's to come for, for Jack. And uh, I don't know if folks realize that. We don't just do pinups. <laughs> <laughs> uh, basically, our covers, um, our pinups, basically everything that you've seen are, are excerpts from from Jack's history or Jack's future. Um, in case of the covers, actually most of the time it's a scene that's just slightly missing in, uh, in the issue itself, which uh, I just love that approach, and I think it's just a little extra content. But I think Maxie's doing a killer job. Basically, we had only seen this totem up to here, so he decided, you know what, I'm going to throw some teeth big freaking giant bandolier and, and um <laughs> it's looking real cool it's looking real cool i was actually working on uh, issue number three script also um it's finished but i was doing some polishing and some rearranging it's uh there was a need um uh, it's so much better a little bit more to do but it's so much better um <laughs> if we could fund the whole issue it's so cool uh, but anyway, let's go by back to here. Oh, excuse me with that burp. That was that was free of charge, folks. Not owe me any extra for the burp. Uh, the second one though, that's a quarter. All right. Um, so in the above video, which you guys saw as the intro to this video, uh, is by Dollar Coins, wonderful co-editor at uh, Ironverse Comics, and my oldest friend and a killer indie rock and roll artist. Please look up Laguna Muta and buy his stuff. You will not regret it. It's gorgeous, gorgeous work. Uh, let's go on down here. Oh, look at that. Hey, Matt C. Good to see you again, brother. Um, thank you. It is moving here and there. Um, the last couple streams have certainly been helpful, and uh, I've enjoyed the ones um, I've spent with you. That was uh, good times, man. I appreciate that. You folks should check out Kyrie. In fact, uh, or, uh, God, what is it? Is, uh, my memory's already gone. I, I pronounced that incorrectly again. I'm closer than than sometimes. It's like, uh, but uh, anywho, <laughs> check out that. We will actually check that out once we get past my campaign. It's on here somewhere. Might have to dig. That's one of the things I'm going to be talking about. It's uh, the fact that on trending you can have things that are ended and not even in demand anymore. And, and your your project, your new project that's running, can be less trending than a project that's literally getting no income at all anymore. I, I, I really don't get it. But we'll, we'll get into that later. Right now, we're talking, Jack. I'm going to go ahead and go straight through the sales pitch. So, our book is for, quote-unquote, mature audiences. Now, a mature 16- or 15-year-old could totally handle the content we're putting out, in my opinion. But, um... The uh, much more <laughs> Puritan opinion of uh, uh, the FCC or, or what used to be the Comics Code or, or whatever is really a quote-unquote governing body for ratings on comics, which I don't think there is at the moment, uh, would probably see it otherwise just because of the gore. Um, I'll leave that up to uh, parents' decisions. Uh, if you're spending a credit card on here, you're, you're totally fine for getting this. Um, if you want to dive right in instead of listening to me, um, this has been a big thing for our um, 
uh, for people being able to to be introduced to our world and what we're doing we do have issue number one at this link tapas e a p a s just look that up and jack irons the steel cowboy and you'll find this right away in fact you can probably just look up jack irons steel cowboy and it wouldn't be hard to find this either but this is the first issue in black and white we were released years ago um uh, it's the best intro to the world and to the series that we could have. Uh, it looks good in black and white. Maxi is an extreme talent. His art shines with or without color. But uh, if you want colored, you can get that right now too on Comixology. But uh, this is free. Check it out. It's a better pitch than I could ever do. Um, just live and off the cuff. Uh, it's the book. It's it's one of the three books you snag in, uh, in campaign and production. All right, so howdy, folks. I'm Coach Fernandez. I told you that enough. Uh, writer, creator, Jack Irons, Steel Cowboy, and editor, co-editor, editor in chief. Uh, we, it's loose. We're, we're cowboys <laughs> for Ironverse Comics, delivering you the best in the Weird Space West. I don't know if it should be in or of yet. Best of the Weird Space West or best in the Weird. Space West. I don't think there's anybody else uh, in the Weird Space West right now. I think that's totally us. So I guess it's up to me, and I chose in. So we're going with in. <laughs> now you may ask yourself, okay, but can this fellow prove it? Well, you're a sharp one. You caught my bluff. There, I cannot prove that. The best way I can prove it is if you read issue number one and you agree. <laughs> you can prove that. I, I cannot. I can just tell you that. See, even if we aren't the, currently the most successful attempt to bring this niche genre forward, we may be the most ambitious. We are definitely the most ambitious. Nobody else is going to do what folks help us do. It. Nobody else. Uh, lots of folks who want to do similar ideas, which is building a, a large universe of characters. That's a, that's a very simple... Uh, it's not a very simple idea. It's a very uh, common idea. People love to create. Um, but uh, with the focus and the amount of content that we actually do have just sitting there, uh, I don't think people... But I don't think very many else uh, others have the uh, the preparation down that we've had and, uh, and have. And, uh, definitely nobody else is doing philosophical exploration, Western science fiction, apocalyptic uh, journey, <laughs> kind of like we are. And uh, yeah, I, I call that ambitious. I call that ambitious. Uh, two new folks in, in chat. Thank you so much, by the way. Uh, El Crudo, what up? Um, this is what's up. I, I, I think, uh, I, I believe you have the uh, comprehension to, to see what's going down over, over here. Uh, talking about my campaign. Uh, then he says the campaign is increasing daily. It is. Uh, it's a trickle rather than a, a waterfall. Um, and we do need a couple days with waterfalls to fund. But, um, without the trickle, we definitely have no chance. Um. So I'm, I'm so ecstatic about that. I'm glad it does have have uh, traction. It, in my opinion, which you know, it's gonna be biased, uh, it freaking deserves it. Um, um, how to pump the in, in the, uh, IgG algos? I'm past that point. Uh, at this point, the only way I could is to uh, fund. Like all of a sudden, that would be the only way I could play with the uh, Indiegogo algorithm at this point. Um, and well, again, uh, I was telling uh, uh, Matt C here, um, we are going to look at this trending page, and I, I have a few choice words with uh, some of the things that happen on it that don't make any goddamn sense. Um, but we'll get there. Right now, we're, we're slipping into Jack 3 nice and comfy. I want to take you guys on a on a gentle uh, trot, the, the Rusty Trail Ironverse comics, really. So... With a solid track record of delivering gorgeous works, unlike anything else out there currently, there's nobody else in Western sci-fi like us. And I could name... Uh, the amount of Western crowdfunding books has been great. The, the amount of weird Western crowdfunding books is great. I've, I can name two off the top of my head that are cool and did pretty damn well. One of them did extremely well, and the other did pretty damn well, and it's already fulfilled. The other one hasn't fulfilled yet, and I'm not a fan of the creators, but... Uh, the concept of the book is cool. Um, we'll probably come across it when we go into Indiegogo and go further into that. But um, nobody's doing Weird Space West like we are. Um, there's a couple mainstream books that are coming close, but they they have a different goal. The Western trappings aren't 
utilized to the same spiritual resonance that we're trying to do in Hyperverse Comics. The, the deeper theme. That's a that's the core of Hyperverse Comics is it's four, five, and maybe six really deep themes that we're trying to explore uh, with a cowboy hat on and spaceship. Um, so unlike anything else out, out there currently, hopefully I made that sale, <laughs> and with backing by a great indie comics publisher, uh, Wicked Publishing, they've had my back like crazy and invested quite a bit making Jack 1 and 2 uh, feasible, deliverable worldwide to our backers last last uh, last campaign. Amazing partners. I couldn't have asked for better for Jack here. Uh, particularly because they also allow us to be a uh, more cowboy than say if I was picked up by Dark Horse. Though Dark Horse or Image might have funded, but I don't think they fund the books. I think so. Yeah, that's a tough one. I, I don't think I could have done better than Wicked. And uh, because of that partnership, and because of the talents and skills that I've been able to connect with and learn and grow and gain myself, um. We're set and on track to continue to make something truly spectacular for years to come. We have so much content just sitting there that uh, just needs to be kicked into production by uh, being able to pay the wonderful talents we know and want to work with. So uh, what do we need? Well, we just need the one one freaking all-important ingredient, and that's you folks. Anybody who reads all this, listens to me, checks out the free, retweets a picture that we put out that's nice, uh, says, ooh, that's kind of cool. We can only do that because of those folks. We can only do this because of those folks. It means the world to us. Me in particular. Uh, hell of a thing. Hell of a thing. All right. So so I, I sold you on, on, well, maybe I didn't sell you, but uh, I attempted to sell you on, on what we are and what we're trying to do. So now, why should you care? Like, what's in it for you? Well, this is the story. <laughs> Jack Iron Steel Cowboy tells the story of a man trapped in two kinds of attorney. His mind and soul, bears, and yes, I, I, that, that is a pun. I, I hope he that. Uh, the memories of hundreds, maybe thousands of past lives, and his current body is unkillable in a morgue. Iron vs. Comics takes this poor, unfortunate son and lets him loose in a galactic-wide, weird western apocalypse. Our universe is fractured into the four horsemen's sick whims. Cracked mirror of sentient life's deepest lusts and fears made manifest in excess. Earth is a reservation kept safe by a corrupt alien government trying to maintain its fascist control over what free galaxy is left, by any means. Humanity lives, cowers, and makes do alongside alien refugees and pilgrims behind the impenetrable walls of the dead world. Reality belongs to evil. Heroes are inevitable. Welcome to Iron First Comics. Yeah, I hope that works. I like that. That hits my buttons. So that's what I put out there. But I'm really, really hoping uh, that works for other folks, too. So, I told, uh, that's the concept. That's the idea. That's that's the, that's the what you'll be playing with if, if you get these books. And... But uh, specifically now, issue number one, we introduce you to Jack's Mind. Beautiful cover by Matias Laborde and Maximiliano Dallo. Zero Fox in Rush. Uh, here's a review on it. Mr. Fernandez has used a shotgun, learned to use a sniper rifle, but he has nonetheless hit his target. Jack Iron, Steel Cowboy, number one, is a frothy, which I like that word, fresh start to what we hope is a long lived series. Extreme compliment. <laughs> of course, you pick the real good review, but I haven't found a bad review <laughs> yet, and I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I want to get these books out to more people so that somebody can be like, oh, I hate this, just so I can what somebody who doesn't like this thinks about it. The angles are wow. Uh, in number two, he showed you his world. <sighs> Again, gorgeous cover, this time by Maximiliano Dallo and uh, Stephen Cannon as our colorist. Uh, this comic has a splash of Judge Dredd, a shot of the Umbrella Academy's zaniness, a big pour of Grimjack's Munden's Bar. Which I'm the least familiar with Grimjack. I do have a couple issues. Sadly, uh, it wasn't a direct influence. It's great when you touch on other good things. Um, you're on a, on a decent track. That you didn't even know. Um, 
Jack Iron Steel Cowboy, number two, chaotic, anti uh, erudite, and enormous fun. Um, anti erudite's a little insulting. <laughs> I think it works for anybody of, of any um, <sighs> mental capacity. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I, I, I'm unsure. Uh, this this guy's case, he, he doesn't think it works for for the uh, uh, less heady goals. For so that's that's a fact too. It could very well be. But now, you can see his history, at least a good chunk of him being a cowboy history, and you begin his journey, which is a hundred percent true. Finally, in issue three, kick off the present and the and Instead of um, the sh the shaking of the hands, the meeting of the character, and then the showing of the house, showing of the world. Uh, that's issue one and two. Uh, this one, um, now you're going to be hanging out with the fella. Beautiful pinup by That Crafty Foxy, J. Paul Sheik, and uh, Paul Billick. <sighs> Just amazing work. Privileged to work with all these folks. All right, in issue number mysterious figure from Jack's past has returned to challenge him. What does their centuries-long and violent series of yesterdays mean for Jack's future? Why has Earth's legendary top predator returned for Jack after, it should say, over a century of violence? It have over. Um, I always find those little things in my editing. Always. I could be looking at a thing four or five hundred times. Still find a little, like, a, a better word choice. A comma that needs somewhere. <laughs> That's how it goes. Um, has Jack been bluffing in the bar all throughout issue number one and number two and is, in fact, just some drunk wasting away in a secondhand sci-fi saloon, struggling to keep an implausible story together? Uh, kind of like I am with this book. <laughs> uh, only one way to find out, folks. You gotta back the Jack. Right there, there's some wonderful issues of pinups that are gonna be available. There's one of the six uh, could be seven, depending on how we fund. We've been through this before. This isn't our first rodeo. You can go check out our prior campaign. Check out all the comments. Check out whatever you need. Gain that security uh, of backing something that um, will not only deliver, but uh, really will appreciate your help. Um, together, Wiki Publishing and Ironverse Comics uh, successfully delivered two high-quality indie comics to satisfy backers worldwide. We got it across seas, over oceans. Uh, got it to folks safely uh, with one of the, if not the most unorthodox Indiegogo campaign ran uh, <laughs> almost ever. Um, I think it might be the most uh, uh, unorthodox successful Indiegogo campaign. Uh, because we offered physical issues without collecting mailing addresses or without having a tier for physical issues. That was very unorthodox. Uh, a lot of stretch goals that got it as far as it did was kind of unorthodox. So, yeah. You can play it loose and we still play it right. You don't find that all the time. I hope folks pre I do. <laughs> uh, Wicked Publishing's track record far exceeds what they did with just us. We were just, I think we were the biggest worldwide campaign they've had to uh, uh, fulfill, but we are certainly, um, with all the other campaigns they've had to fulfill, they, they've done a lot more books. Um, I really haven't heard any problems with any of the campaigns. Uh, excuse me for a second. That was a sneeze. All right. If you have a moment, you can go check out their website right here. We can publish it. I think they just cool. The link's still valid. I I believe they just did a slight uh site overhaul, so it looks a little bit better. Yeah, there's merch, all kinds of things. Um, these two posters are only available on this site, nice and cheap. Now I get some printer poster. I think they're 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 like a a comic book cover sized. Um, but I think you can also get it bigger. Maybe they'll print those for for you. Sure. But check it out. Support um, Wicked Publishing. Uh, makes a big difference not only for me, but a ton of other creators. Um, and that means a lot to me. I was hard not to see them picking me up as their first big title. Didn't lead to a lot of these other folks um, having their faith in them too. So there's a slight responsibility <laughs> on my end, whether or not it is um, a true responsibility. It's a certainly a one. Um, 
No, I gotta take care of these folks. <laughs> Wicked family. All right. Anywho, uh, <laughs> back to our main program. Uh, here's some important bits. Here's the two issues that we've already released. Pretty issues. I love I'm favorite comic books ever. <laughs> um, there will be exclusive variant covers for number one and number two, only for this campaign, not to be re-released -re anytime, anywhere else. By Maxi Dallo and Frank Martin Jr. If folks aren't aware of Frank Martin Jr. We will be getting to that. So it won't be these covers above. So oh, 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 Messing with my flow, Joe. <laughs> it did, though. It greatly. <laughs> All right. Uh, yep. There we are. That's right. <laughs> so anyway, you'll be able to get these books straight from my publisher with these covers uh, in coming months. You won't have to worry about funding a campaign or if your books are going to come or anything. You just go to a website. You buy a book. It's hell. Pretty damn quickly. Uh, Wicked fulfills it. Um, but... Uh, so I, I, I can see how this is confusing you. <laughs> but no, there will be exclusive variant covers. Um, I actually will be spoiling the line art for uh, the variant cover of issue number one this stream. Uh, for folks who came in late, page number five of Jack in progress. Freaking killer. Maxi is an extreme talent. Support his art by supporting our art. Please. Please. <laughs> and... Um, Anywho, so we'll be spoiling another exclusive piece. I don't tend to post these. Uh, this will probably go up on Patreon uh, here pretty quick for a dollar. Um, like, um, you know, a dollar a month, you get access to our all our in-progress stuff. But uh, since not too many people watch these streams, I don't mind doing these streams here. But, uh, yeah, that's page five. Uh, page one through four are actually up on this, and we'll be getting to those. But uh, that just reminded me. More exclusive stuff for this stream. In fact, some people came in late. I like to see that image. I do. Progress. Got a lot more uh, Kirby tech to do and uh, a little bit more detail. I'm kind of curious what he'll do here. He wants to put the big old moon in the back, obviously, like uh, on the pinup, which is great. Yeah, I, I, I'm. Uh, bo -bo 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 -bo. That's not where we want to go. We want to go over here. There we go. I actually should probably close that unless I'm using uh, letting folks live. Uh, because, yeah, last time I had to cut out a good talk with uh, Mr. Laguna Muta, who's here in chat. Again, support indie rock and roll. Look up Laguna Muta. He does the music for Jack Iron Steel Cowboy. Three amazing tracks already. Um, but he also does best original rock and roll this side of northern New Mexico, and uh, I bet it kicks the shit out of a lot of other original rock and roll out there. <laughs> Anywho... We'll begin these covers. The reason to back for issue one and two here is for the exclusive variant, or if if you just want to support the campaign. That's that's really what those are for. Uh, it helps us make issue three. <laughs> um, with the public release number one or number two through Wicked Publishing, like I was saying, good chance that uh, they'll be out even before the uh, campaign finishes. A good chance. I'm I'm not guaranteeing that Wicked's actually extremely big has a lot of new cards that are just killer during the pipeline. So we'll see. We'll see. Uh, we sold out, basically, of Jack uh, first editions that we put up publicly. We had a few extra and sold out within a week. Who knows? Uh, I think they'll be ecstatic to get more public stuff. And then folks can just go on the website and order these issues. Order number one. Read it. If you like it, you can go and order number two. Great. That money will help support me and Wicked Publishing. But... Uh, well, and I still think I'll probably just put, put any profits directly from individuals uh, straight into an account up to make comics. But uh, we'll see. We'll see. I work three jobs, so I I tend to take care of myself all right. But third job's not here yet. Third job will be uh, this summer, hopefully. Anywho, uh, the Ironverse comics team will be seeing uh, variant covers for number one and just for this campaign, not to be reprinted or reoffered anywhere else. Um, so we're only going to print the demand, you know, how many are sold, and then a little bit extra just because you do that uh, to make it worthwhile and because uh, most print runs have a oh, you know, number there. Uh, so 
what's so special about these exclusive variant covers? Well, one of them, hopefully both, one of them, <laughs> uh, will be teaming up with professional and exclusive, which is crazy, uh, Marvel colorist Frank Martin Jr. worked on East of West, uh, probably the most famous independent weird western done. <laughs> I can't think of a bigger name in Weird West uh, comics, uh, particularly through Image. Um, Absolute Carnage, which was the number one selling comic last uh, last year. Uh, he did uh, cover colors. Uh, the Avengers, he's worked on tons of books of the Avengers. I believe he started off on Thunderbolts. Right now he's on the uh, new of over colors with Adam Kubert, for God's sakes. Uh, so much more. In fact, let's go over here. That's why I put a link there. 740 issues. He found us and wanted to work with us. Uh, my God. I, I just, I don't... Extremely blessed. This project, uh, I don't know if we'll fund this time. I am super hopeful. Um, but little things like that, although those are nudges that's like, you're, you're doing something right. Um, he's lending his talents to at least one variant, hopefully both, if scheduling allows. I do have the second uh, variant covers colorist lined up. You folks, <laughs> it, it should turn some heads um, if if we have to. Uh, I would rather do both Frank Martin just because um, I really like his work and he. Um, uh, but uh, the second one, it, it's it it could inject some um, more vitality in it, but I don't know. We'll see. I'm gonna wait. We're gonna wait and see if he get both done. But if you want to see a preview, this is kind of what he did. He found a, a panel that I had posted of in progress uh, page. Uh, what is it? Uh, uh, of uh, Jack Irons number three. Uh, he <laughs> low res and everything. He just ripped that off of Twitter, I guess. And um, I I get this in a reply uh, to one of our threads. Um, yeah, he's an extreme talent. Uh, the grit, the lighting, the texture, the atmosphere, the smoke, just everything. He's an extreme talent. I cannot wait to see what he does with this cover. Which, since we're talking about this cover and we're at that point, exclusive stream spoiler. Look at that. We're going to go ahead and get that going. Go ahead and get an exclusive stream spoiler. Uh, it's also up on Patreon for a dollar. If you folks don't get enough, uh, look at it right now. Go ahead, open new tab. Stuff. Got in there. Boom. Issue number one's variant cover line art. Right now with Frank Martin Jr. Um, for his spare time when he's not working on Wolverine. Or that Thor cover they just dropped yesterday too. A fucking gorgeous Thor cover. That he did uh, alongside uh, Ryan Stegman, if I'm right, uh, the the Venom guy who works with Donny Cates a lot, and, and uh, he has an anchor. Team. Stegman just did Hensler. But yeah, here's our exclusive variant cover for issue one. Yeah, it's super high res. But... Oh, we we had a stipulation from Frank. Uh, he said uh, make the cover not too complicated, so I'll have time. Otherwise, it just cannot be done. Max, he's a genius. A third, if not half of the page, is black ink. <laughs> that, so he's not going to have to color that. Uh, I love my team. Freaking genius. Um, I think it's a wonderful color uh, cover. And I think um, it's a great statement that follows alongside the, the philosophy that Maxi and I have been kind of doing for our covers. Where you're getting an extra scene, an extra moment. From the book cover um yeah i i can't wait for that to get done but there it is issue one a variant cover to be colored by frank martin jr Aren't very might be the hottest colorist at marvel right now. um let's go back over to the camera i'm actually gonna check chat um yeah, there's a lot of dead campaigns on the browse section. Not just the browse, on the trending. How could something be trending and dead? 
doesn't make any sense to me. And like, and it's not even the really big campaigns. Say like uh, uh, the original Cyberfrog campaign that, that that earned like 500 grand. That ain't one of the dead campaigns. And you think that would be trending? If anything, that's dead is trending. I I don't. We'll get to there. We'll we'll get there. <laughs> the Gumu says yo yo. I don't know if you're still here, brother, but thank you for showing up and saying howdy. Um, if you can get on several live streams a week. Your visibility will increase in a huge way. You'll be able to boost things. more. That's my game plan, at least. Just maximize guest streaming. Yeah, that worked for me last campaign quite a bit well, and even on uh, streams that had very low sub counts, for some reason we were able to, uh, with the Meeting of the Minds, for instance, uh, uh, last campaign, uh, there was like 100 subs on that channel, and we were getting 250 viewers uh, at a time. We were getting 1,000, 1,500 actual viewers crazy so um honestly it's it's the energy and enthusiasm that'll that'll really get things done and guest appearances is a great way uh you in particular matt you've been doing great uh, a great personality to talk to work around uh, i've appreciated uh the, the guest appearances i've had with you uh, uh yeah i think you'll do great i'm gonna do my damnedest to get on a few others um there's two i gotta try um Tenapple was quite kind, did respond to my emails, and did interest. In fact, when he saw the campaign, he said it might be the coolest uh, book out there, which is an extreme compliment. But um, he's a busy fellow, and he hasn't returned with uh, any, uh, any times or anything that uh, would actually manifest into some kind of appearance. But uh, I may be a little bit more persistent. I'm, I'm, I have a hard time uh, bothering but a lot of busy people actually do again and again. I'm trying to get over that. But uh, so that, that's one. Uh, try and get on the Bunder Dome, maybe. Uh, Timothy. See if I can get on any other just random, random audiences is what I want. Uh, um, it's uh, new audiences is what I need to read. We have a quality product. It looks good. We have a track record. So actually attracting new folks should be as difficult as it was in the first campaign. First campaign got uh, nearly what we needed. So uh, we're, we're on our way. We're on our way. But uh, yeah, we're talking about issue one and two, the covers, blah, blah, blah. It's been done. It's been done. So what about number three? Issue number three's cover <laughs> will, be, uh, will be the first edition, like the prior campaigns for number one and two. So, uh, a smaller print count. Um, and, uh, it'll be reprinted as second edition, so on, uh, for public releases, as we did with issue one and two, or will do with one and two covers, but, um, and it'll feature our art team, our, our very stellar Jack Irons art team, so it'll be folks who did, well, this cover, um, and half of this cover, well, what, three quarters of this cover, <laughs> um, um, I can't wait for that. The other reason is that you'll be receiving it before anyone else, and uh, not only that, it, no one else will receive it if you folks don't back it, so because <laughs> it won't get made. Uh, <laughs> uh, so there's that too. Uh, the page counts, because people are always interested in that. Uh, issue three will be 32 pages. Um, issue one was 24, issue two was 32, so 88 pages of story. And, um, there was uh, 12 pages of extra content in issue... 8 pages. 8 pages of extra content in issue 1. Uh, there was 16 bonus con pages in issue 2, and we're doing 16 again. Turning the fan art gallery and two other cool things. So you'll be getting 128 pages of the best in the Weird Space West if you're getting all three. For 25 bucks plus $7 shipping. $7 shipping is outrageous, but it is built in for profit margin a little bit and to help us... Uh, cover other costs uh, it's good to you know I could have put it for a thirty dollar dollar shipping <laughs> it's, it's just that kind of balance um, I, I don't know what hits people differently but the price of the books wouldn't change where the you know uh, so that's where it's at if you're getting all three if you're just getting one it's uh 15 bucks and you get a pinup and sticker alongside issue three and uh, you help support what we're doing. Uh, delivery. I know our budget. 
outlined below in a way because I don't discuss artist rates so that they're not on the back foot in any discussions down the line with other people. Um, we'll, we'll get to there. In fact, that's what but we'll get there. Um, I've learned a lot, which is <laughs> very true. <laughs> I mean, it, it's infinity what I learned, what I, what compared to what knowledge I had before running that last campaign. Um, we intend to deliver much faster, but understand crowdfunding efforts. Sometimes the machine isn't greased or a new problem rises. Heads. I should say heads. Because I always visualize a hydra. But uh, it's head from the depths of Hades. <laughs> you must take time and care in its execution and disposal, lest you der uh, derail yourself more. Uh, if something comes up, you got to take care of it right. Like last last campaign, uh, our first colorist had to leave in between two. That was a problem. That took quite a bit of time to uh, to solve, but uh, we did. We found the right talent. And I'm so glad we took our time to do so. Uh, December is the worst foreseeable case. I don't. If we fund next month, uh, then we should probably be able to get it, get it out in October or even uh, August, maybe. No, no, September. Probably get it out in September. But uh, I'm saying December because I guessed so wrong last time, and I kept having to push. And it, it feels bad. It, it shows that you didn't know what's going into. The last campaign was fair. This one, I, I've got an idea. I think December we should be able to. Sure. As it says here, I went far out to avoid underestimating delivery time, which before then, unless fate undeniably and decides otherwise, in which case. Uh, I'll get right back, right to you folks with everything that's going on. I try to do the weekly updates uh, with progress or anything that's going on and just to touch base with the folks who invested in work. <laughs> Budget needed. 10K. I don't discuss artist rates without permission, but suffice it to say, this total rate bump up from what I received with prior issues above most standards which i've looked up and some are ferocious and still in my opinion it's not enough for their amazing talent and greatly appreciated and priceless time i would i'd pay them as much as feasible if i could uh at the moment we're going to get them what the standard rate is and a little bit more um because they're not only doing the independent comic standard but they're <laughs> so Pay them that, damn it. <laughs> uh, it's a large goal. We'll need every bit of help and support we can to get there, but if we do, we'll be getting the best of the weird West instead of being stuck with just the rest. I would say just. <laughs> uh, one step at a time, though, right? Because we also have to pay for uh, other things like the printing, the shipping, and the goodies. All covered by that total above. Hit that 10K, we should be good. We should be good. Um. No writer's marketing fee. Yeah, I'm not charging any. My passion project. If we just get to make more issues, I've got a publisher, so I'll get residual issues being put out through the publisher. But uh, we've got to make those issues. We're returning our fan al uh, art gallery. We've got another huge wave of killer fan art from this campaign and a ton in between last campaign and this campaign. We're going to have a massive fan art gallery this time, as long as folks will let us print it for them and as long as we fund. Um, in fact, yeah, like I said here, art contest went a couple of those. Um, killer printing fulfillment by Wicked Publishing. Again, do a great job doing it. Here's our stretch goals. The first stretch goal, we'll be actually getting a uh, another pinup, another 11 by 17, uh, custom done, and that one will not be resold. Um, it should be in the description, buddy. Uh, for first off, howdy dollar coins. It should be in the uh, in the description, man. It might not be. I I, I ain't calling you a liar. <laughs> I just uh, I can't see that right now. But it should be there. It, it, it's a copy paste of my last stream, and it's back jack right at the top. Again, it might not be. I haven't streamed for a week. God damn it! You rail me. You rail me. Now I gotta go looking. Crafty, shifty, shady. Coyote. 
Now what am I doing? Well, I guess it worked. <laughs> it got me there. It's not there. God damn it. All right. It will be in the description, bud. It should be there. Last stream, I thought it was there. I copied and pasted from the last stream, so I guess the last stream it wasn't there either. Huh. Oh, well. Oh, well, oh, well. It will be there, folks. Um, My stream bot should also be dropping it. It's not. So let me go ahead. We'll, uh, we'll get you back. We'll, we'll get back on track with Jack. But, uh, but first, let's go ahead and drop the link in chat. Bam! Links in chat now, folks. That'll have to hold strong for us. Uh, oh, I can actually edit. <laughs> so uh, let's go back on track with Jack here. We are at the stretch goals, weren't we? Yeah. So we'll. Uh, I, I've worked with tons of, of killer artists uh, throughout the this project's uh, current lifespan. Uh, I've got great ideas of folks I want to work with and. Um, Get that total. There's one person in particular that could do. Might as well be a uh, print that I would love to get done. But we'll see. We'll see. On uh, the other bit is I can actually replace my computer. Girl still running on DDR2. Will eventually die on me. At this moment, uh, quite fickle. <laughs> that would be great. I'd love to be able to stream often, stream games on more. That kind of stuff. But, uh, we'll see. At uh, 14.5, uh, we'll include a, a bonus preview of Tracker Top Predator, the actual series, by myself and Vincent Rush, in issue number three. It'll be an eight. Here's one of, uh, he's actually delivered all, all uh, thumbnail. But this is the old thumbnail. Uh, start working on the uh, closer to when the, the stretch goal is happening. We, we want to do that mini either way, but for it to actually get out there, getting that uh, five would be the now, uh, if you folks will bear with me, I'm going to put on a uh, with some music, about 3 minutes and 30 seconds from Laguna. Um, somebody just got home I want to talk to, so I'll be right back, folks. Uh, please bear with me. Showdown, Cody. Uh, all your favorite uh, storefronts, but preferably Apple Music. Better profit. Anyway, we'll be right back, folks. Yeah, okay, be right back, folks. Apologies.
All right. We're back. We're back. It was all good. Just had to check. Just had to do respectful duty. Anywho, so yeah, 14.5, we will be including Tracker Top Predator, an eight-page mini, which uh, is actually referenced in it. Is a necessary to issue three, but it would it would make a a, a very cool impact if we. I'm not really looking towards these two um, until we're funded, though. But I wanted folks to have an idea of what we're thinking. That's the goal. And yeah, there's actually a lot of other Many of which are similar. Lady Silverado with uh, Carl Rowe. I think. Monk. It's Pat Nod. I would like to do Iron Verse Anthology as a second book alongside issue number <sighs> Let's get to 10. Let's make issue 3. <laughs> we'll see what we can do. Here's a preview of the page and a good intro to Jack himself. And it's, it was the first colored page Jack Irons ever had. And gorgeous. Kind of show you the rough process. Uh, I write my rough script and it's pretty rough. Maxi makes sense of it and makes it actually work in comic form. Head and life into that. Uh, Vince and I get to work on actually double legible journey. And then, voila, as it says, Iron vs. Cons Magic in his final form. That's a labor of love. Why else would we philosophical exploration, weird space western apocalyptic science fiction tale? Tell me that, huh? Tell me. <laughs> uh, no need. You snag yourself some of these lovely little phony, uh, funny books. You find out what I'm talking about right quick. I'll do precision. Certainly less than my John. Right now, you're getting it in stereo. You're and you're hearing me say and you're hearing me comment on it, so that's what Trario. Uh, I don't know what the name. Trio. I don't. Know. Eh. <laughs> Anywho, with issue three already in progress, all bets are on the table. So page one of issue three. Issue three takes place right after issue two. Scene to scene. Uh, Jack's being hunted. Uh, he wants to know why. <laughs> He's very much beat on. Gorgeous issue, and then of course this page, followed by this page. Progress. Woo! Okay. Um, and Jack is having a rough day. But it is fun working with Maxi. I haven't sold you. I remind you folks that there is issue one, free to read, black and white. Start the series for free. Let us know what you think. Again, wonderful soundtrack by Lagoon Room. Saw showdown at Cody a second ago. Check it out if you like the song. You can actually purchase it from him. Uh, you're supporting both of us quite quite a bit. I couldn't do it without readers and supporters like you, kind folks. That's all the difference. This. This has been crazy that it's been able to happen at all. Not everybody gets a shot. Um, I hope find us worthy of a of another shot. A uh, hundred and two folks have so far. Let's get close to that 500 backers we got last camp. I uh, thank you all for checking us out and helping the Ironverse Comics and Weird Publishing families put the frontier back into the final frontier to become the best in the Weird Space West. And me, Ironverse Comics, where our word is metal. Oh, pudgy pudge, pudgy 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 pudgies, shape shift. They are in canon. I cannot wait till we get to that point. <laughs> but we're working on it. We're working on it. Dollar coins and I. Uh, image gallery. So this is the sticker that's included. I'm hopefully gonna get it holographic, so all these nice, um, you know, uh, angles of light and stuff will actually shine. Should be able to. Why not? If we're fun, there's no. Graphic. If you're a big spender and want a hand painted one of these fellas from me directly, how you want him painted, I am so very happy to do that for you for the price I put up there. <laughs> Get into that. But um, well, that's on offer, and then some of comic work. 
imagery and such a beautiful book the book i've always wanted to make open it's a book that a lot of people have always wanted to read some cactus coyote shilling if you want to read another free ironverse comics title right here at this link we have the shiftiest shadiest cactus coyote i did the lettering a bit of the overzealous editing got all coins did the incredible line art for this manga it does read right to left it shows you Ironverse in a whole different light, what it actually means to be part of the greater Ironverse stuck on the little Earth. So give that a look, too, if you're interested. Another free read, and it's a lot of fun. A lot more to come, too. Connect with us. Uh, you can support us on Patreon, which would be... Uh, oh, boy, would I prefer that to, uh, to, to campaigning, but... Um, do what you can. All kinds of posts. We've got eight wonderful patron, patrons. Best place to stay up to date with us because everything after I do it goes right on here. All the pages that we've posted. This one's kind of exclusive. No, not this one. This one. This one's pretty much exclusive to this campaign because it was an actual radio broadcast which I got to do which was a lot of fun check it out folks give it a gander a dollar a month get a lot of people doing just that dollar uh, we could a lot of cool stuff. Uh, hopefully here soon I'll be able to get um, digital copies of issues on here as part of the uh, pledge and eh, it might be a bit Working with a publisher, that's one of the, uh, the headaches. Finding out what'll work. But neither stepping on each other's toes. Yeah, sub to our YouTube that you're listening to right now. Like, subscribe, sub, and please share. That's the big one. I've been gaining a lot of passive subs lately. By a lot, I mean handfuls of four here and there. But uh, it makes a huge difference. The more people I can reach on my platform, the better in my I, I love... Being a guest, I love working with other people. It's always a privilege to share their platforms, but I, I like having mine. <laughs> and if you folks enjoy what I do, uh, what we are trying to do with Ironverse Comics, uh, subbing, liking, and sharing, uh, particularly, again, sharing, makes a huge difference. So, that's the uh, sales pitch. Let's go through the tiers. So this is the one I, I put up in your face. Best of the Weird Space West, right to your door and device. One and number two are already cult classics in the scene. I am. The cult is small. <laughs> and now you can have your own exclusive variant cover, which is true. Uh, again, from, from extreme talent. Number three hopes to solidify Jack as a Western mainstay, 100%. Uh, 100%. Uh, this way you'll get it all, plus a fancy sticker and one of our stellar 11 by 17 pinups from stellar indie talent. I think that's pretty cool. You can also snag a shirt in the add-ons, or you can snag all the pinups instead of a rent. Uh, you have one. Uh, we'll be releasing number two digitally uh, here pretty quick on Comixology, and you just want number three. People have been doing that. Very cool. Digital and extras. So there's some cool extras. Concept art, fan, that fun stuff. Not in the book, but uh, that didn't make it into the page count of the book, but uh, make it older alongside the PDF of, like we did with issue one. Digital package. If you are overseas, don't want to pay the exorbitant uh, amount of funds that it takes to get books overseas, shipping. Uh, this is your path. Ten bucks, no shipping costs. Ten bucks, you'll get all three issues, all the extras back into that. And of course, I will be eight people. Thank you so much. Uh, you got last campaign, and you don't really want the variants. Uh, you don't want to put more. What we're doing. Um, ten bucks. Get issue number three, issue digital L, uh, and uh, the eleven by seventeen pinup and sticker. So basically, you're just paying uh, the shipping cost. Getting a digital. Well, no, no, it's different. It's different. I, I like this. 17 people have done that. Thank you so very much, folks.
Uh, we have a store bundle for stores out there. You'll get 15 issues. Uh, five of each. Get all of our pinups. Uh, it's at a price price deal. I saw the person who got that. They got to me directly, which I really appreciate because stores have to be more cautious than, than regular buyers. So that, that really makes it passively get out to folks. Passively. You can sit on the shelves. It it adds a, a sense of legitimacy. Our books look good. I think our covers are good. They look good on your shelves. <laughs> I think that means they'll be picked up and checked out and then carried out of your store at a profit. <laughs> My opinion. And here are our big boys. These are for the folks who really, really, really get something unique and very cool out of the uh, out of it. So with the steel, you get everything in the complete package alongside a uh, comic book cover sized metal print. Now this print isn't 100% locked down what image it is. It may be this, but uh, a virgin cover. It may have Jack Hunter Steel Cowboy up here. But it may be a completely... I like to play things a little bit loose in that, uh, that category so it allows room for growth and uh, opportunity. So that's a big one. There's only going to be 50. They're, they're collectible, too, in my opinion. Uh, all the metal prints are going to me, so if you want it signed, uh, I just got to find a, a type of pen that'll stick. Metal, which I'm sure there is. If nothing else, I can fill a signature if I need. Uh, I'll be shipping those out uh, myself. There's a secret perk that people who are on the mailing list uh, could get to that would a uh, a trading card sized version of. Uh, that was my gift to signed up for. Uh, Mailing list and backers. Those have not sold like I was hoping they would, uh, particularly because of how many signups we had. But uh, I'll be sending that out again to the email list uh, guys, I think, tomorrow. And then on Friday, I will probably start sending that link out in a wider so that we can sell those all out and get a little bit more steam. Because it didn't hit as I wanted. And it made a. It was the best deal. You save a dollar overall, and you get a free uh, metal trading card. Best deal. Folks are goofy. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, it's an interesting time to be running a crowdfunding campaign. A lot of different. That's a hundred percent. Anywho, if you really, really, really want to support, like one person did, and nine left you can get the cowboy now i was showing the statue turning around earlier but i will be hand painting this why the price is so much up it's going to be probably about seven to ten hours of work on each statue statuette each four inch statuette uh, particularly if you folks um if like a bunch of them want different color schemes which i'm putting as an option because i'm hand painting it doesn't matter too much um I can assembly line paint them if they're the same color schemes. So we'll be going through that. Uh, I think, folks, whatever. Anywho, they're uniquely hand painted by myself. I'll be sending out a certificate of authenticity with those little statues. Uh, there's going to be 10 of them ever that I hand paint uh, with the certificate with. And you'll be getting your, your the metal print also, pin up sticker, and everything else that we got on offer there. So uh, that's our campaign. Tried to keep it simple. Tried to make it fun. Uh, I got comments yesterday that maybe this is a little long-winded. I could see that. Again, I tried to make it fun and engaging like you're talking. Getting engaged with, with, with me um, as passively as you But ah, I don't know. Uh, give me your thoughts always in chat or anywhere. Uh, that you can read. Uh, cowboy underscore steel on Twitter is always the best place. Erotic at, at checking that. Uh, yeah, let me know what you think, folks. We have our excellent campaign video by Dollar Coins. We have two of issue number one and number two by Michael Bancroft, so you guys can actually else thought about the book. Here is the figure, uh, the master of I will be
back at that massive team. Uh, but they'll also be available through Wicked Publishing uh, in the coming months, uh, unassembled, unpainted, much cheaper. Uh, so really, if you're going to get that tier, uh, you're getting it uh, support comics and a uh, exclusive personal thing. So. All right, well, that's Jack. Uh, that took up probably the first hour of the stream, didn't it? <laughs> Called it hour and six. <laughs> so it might be a little long-winded. I was talking a lot. I took a break. G give me a break for taking a break, okay? But uh, <laughs> anywho, so anyway, we covered that. Check out Shifty's Shadiest, Cax Coyote. Very fun read. I loved working on Dollcoin. It's a hell of a thing working together on it and figuring it out and working on each other's sensibility. But it's a fun ride. Uh, check it out. Check out Wicked Publishing. Get some other amazing Wicked titles. There's going to be a lot more on this page in the coming uh, I particularly recommend Sporkman Magazine. I have a uh, article in the Wicked Magazine. Uh, Spork here has uh, a long time in conventions. Is a book. Uh, Decimators, it's up to your sensibilities. Really, it's a fun book, but it might not be up everybody's buddy's uh, uh, thing, but it's a unique format, too, as a web comic. It's actually a, a, a lengthwise cut comic. Uh, you guys would have to actually see them in person yourselves to check it out, but uh, yeah, snag some stuff. So, uh, the Wicked Magazine actually has a few um, exclusive Wicked comics as well. Besides, uh, I think they opened it with my article. Very kind. I love these fellows. Um, but um, there's a lot of very cool content. There's a couple of uh, interviews in there too. All kinds of cool stuff. Yeah, 98 pages uh, of content. Comics. Free to read issue one. If you are not familiar with Ironverse comics, want to know more before you buy, want to try before you buy, this is a great trial. Black and white, so it ain't pretty, but it is one you content. Uh, that's Jack Irons, Steel Cowboy, issue number three, on Indiegogo. 20 days left, 26%, nearly 20%. Help get us there. Dollar Coins just dropped it in, so I don't need to. You guys just saw me getting to doing that. Thank you, Dollar, being ahead of me. Uh, now we get to dive into stuff I don't know. Alright, yeah, I'm a little... I'm scared. Oh, uh, here we go. We're going to jump into the comics. Trending comics page. I don't think uh, there's most funded. Let me see if that, that's accurate. That is accurate. Okay, so most funded is accurate. That's good. We're going to go through the trending. I have no clue what the uh, uh, criteria. What the criteria to trending is. I believe you have to fund within the first day. That helps great. But there's a few other criteria page. It might be a lot of things. This guy launched, what, yesterday? Blew out the water. I'm very impressed. I had been seeing him marketed for a while. I know he has a uh, decently uh, large YouTube channel. He obviously was very confident in this book. It must have already been done. Uh, it's definitely worth a check out um, if you're into the uh, manga aesthetic with some Really pretty colors, which you get in manga. At least, uh, uh, I don't know. I like this. I like this. Any tentacle three book combo. That's what he wants you to buy. Is all is it issues? It's three books, three copies. Oh, that's odd. I would put the one copy. Most people do not want three copies. I <laughs> want for your long time. Oh, I get it. Okay. Well, that's the angle he wants to go for. That's the angle. Uh, <laughs> check it out if you like sexy manga action. Go for it. Ah, it's pretty covers, too. Oh, this is okay. Okay, that's the other bit of this. Um, ah, the lettering's neat. This is a pretty book. Definitely worth your time. Check out Blade Devil. Check out Blade Devil. I don't know much about it, but it's done really well. It looks like it's completely earned everything it's gotten. And check it out. See that one? That makes sense to me. 
freaking amazing. Killer job. The Expendables. That should be trending too. I mean, it's not 11,000% over. It's only 2,000% over. But um, it does have Stallone's thumbs up and uh, co-writing, if I remember correctly. A wonderful covers. If you like the Expendables, or Expendables with a supernatural twist. Uh, Graham Nolan is damn well known. Batman and a few other um, titles, if I remember correctly. The art is a little loose for me. I'm not a big fan of Graham Nolan. Like that. Kind of goofy. I like that, though. So I don't know. It's it's not quite my aesthetic. I'm a much bigger fan of Aaron Alfeche's work up here. Uh, yeah, than this. Like, if this was the whole book, I probably would have backed it. <laughs> Ones for backing issues. But, uh... Since it's not all that, that's just a side story, which also kind of bothered me when I first looked at this campaign. I go down and you see the awesome art. This and this. And then you find out that this is the actual art style. To me, that's not a big, um... Thief. I'm the only not bad art at all. It's, uh, you sh it, it, it's the it's the uh, fast food uh, advertising factor. This looks delicious and amazing. This is what you get, and this is pretty. Um, it's good. It's just I don't. I would not have put this first. I would have made it a lot clearer that this is a side story, which he does not make clear. That bothered me quite a bit, actually. That there's no I like, oh, so this is the art. Bugs me. Uh, it's the three side quests, so I think one of them. Yeah, I'm not sure. Aaron Alfetchi. Maybe it was just trials. Like, I don't even know what that art was for, and it's what I'm interested in. Bugs me. Uh, there's some really pretty covers, though. Sure, all kinds of covers. Uh, even even uh, Richard Meyer himself did a cover. Which Cool. Right on, dude. If I could draw as a as a writer, I would totally uh, do that too. Donny Cates did that. Fuck, you kick the shit out of Donny Cates cover <laughs> for Venom. You know <laughs> that was that was a junk compared. This is not amazing, but it's pretty damn good. I almost like it better than Graham Nolan's line art. Hell, Graham. <laughs> That's personal preference. Personal preference. Did really good. Um, I think a lot of people expected it to do better. Then it did, but it's going to be in demand for a while. I know how these folks operate, but uh, 200 grand's great. I'm hoping Stallone wasn't expecting like this massive million dollar comic book, um, just because we don't really want to spook big investors and out of the comic industry. But this is extra a 3,000 people, extreme. really good for crowdfunded comic period. Not up to snuff for bigger bigger guys so much beats uh beats iron sights by right? both iron sights book fires other series besides uh jawbreaker out on that but uh yeah i i kind of expected this to kick a little bit more ass but it kicks some ass yeah if you like stallone you like to hit it while it's hot and around right now we're going to go a little bit less into each campaign. Um, I am going to check out Xenotype because about that. But then we're, we're going to go down. Maybe I'll talk about uh, Cyberfrog there. Bigfoot Bill. I talk about this one. Too. One's, uh, this one's interesting. But um, after those, then we're probably just going to go through and talk about why I think this is a little. But let's go on over here. Check out Xenotype. I've been seeing it advertised quite a bit on Twitter. It's another manga aesthetic from Lee and Gray. Okay, I do. I am aware of him. Right on, right on. Oh, a lot of. Yeah, that's it. Collector pack. There we go. I'm trying to figure out because he's at 125 backers. I was curious. Yeah, we had that highlight for literally a day. The other thing for for Jack, we only had it for a day. With, with Jack one and two, we had it for fuck a month. Uh, highlight it. Now we're buried. We're we're gonna get into that. 
Right now we're talking about Xenotype, which the art is. Okay, new face of Ultraviolence. Well, there you go. It's Ultraviolence. I love the blood sprays there. Very soft and, and ballistically liquidy. Very cool. I don't know if I'm up for the 20 pack that this, this has. But uh, Xenotype, right? It's a mute. Fuck it. It can have 20 abs. I don't care. Black bars over cartoon boot sell, turns out. <laughs> it's true. It does help quite a bit. It does help quite a bit. But also, that manga is a pretty looking book. Just added sex onto it. Sex and violence, man. Oh, this one's going, looks like, pure into the violence. Which is cool. Uh, let's see. Can't put... Yeah, I did that before. Um, it's, it's 200 pages. And they've already got 175 of the pages done. That's great. That would help. I was selling. Covers cool, old school manga. It's like Cyberpunk, Power Ranger, The Dark Millennium, something like that. Very cool. Very cool. Your art is it's a black and white book. Very manga. It's straight manga then. A grayscale. A little bit. Yeah, it's, a, it's not my type of book. But, uh,. That right there confuses the hell out of me. It will be available as a traditional we'll color graphic novel and style. So I guess you get both, but where are my full color pages? Besides the covers and then that one panel. Especially if you're saying 175 pages. Seriously, that's not even a full page. Huh. So that would be my, my, my comment on that. Selling it as a full color book, not showing color. Oh, it's a tail too, so it probably is a twenty. Well, that's twenty that we can see. That's great. That's great. <laughs> I was being facetious, but I also being accurate. <laughs> uh, the art's cool. You like like Resident Evil? It looks like, or you like that kind of uh, Japanese horror uh, aesthetic? Looks like this book's right up your alley. I would comment that uh, don't say it's a full color graphic novel and a tradition like this if you don't have any paper to say, or if you are saying that, then don't uh, don't say that many pages. Because if that many pages are complete, where are those full color pages? That I, I wouldn't back this project because personally, folks, if this is your kind of book, I'm I can guarantee that this guy got that down. It's just the presentation here that uh, that inconsistency, that inconsistency, that that um, that's a flag for me. Or just the sides and all, yeah. Um, not a full color graphic novel. Five pages done. Cannot show any color page. Selling this, at, uh, I couldn't even. As a traditional manga, fine. I'll go over that with the color covers and all. That's fine. Right on. But don't don't say this when or lead to another that like right. I know. Like me. Backer. But uh again it's it's gorgeous. This is what the colors are. Show me a full page. Show me a couple full pages of color. You have full pages done. You say you have 175. Ah, confuses me. Gorgeous book. Definitely has earned it. Hopefully it gets to its fixed goal, which is a very specific number. Maybe if I watch the video it'll show a lot of pages. I don't know. We're not watching any of uh, yeah, back it if you like it. As always, it looks like it's a quality product, and the coloring is incredible. The one little preview that he shows when he has 175 pages to choose from that are allegedly complete. 
I, I, I personally, it's not going to bother a lot of other people. So, uh, go for it, folks. But yeah, I wanted to check that out. I'm kind of glad I did. That, that, hell out of me. And we'll check out uh, Cyber Frog here. So, uh, with this campaign, Ethan's gotten really comfortable with uh, backer numbers. So, uh, you'll see here. Oh, okay, no. He's added to the... Ah, it's still short. He he didn't um, really feel he needed to put too much information into the campaign page, which is great. Glad he's confident. Um, oh, if everything had to be bold. <laughs> Again, this is all just layout from for, for how he does it. He doesn't need to lay out campaigns like uh, for accessibility. That was my one comment when I saw this. That it's not all that accessible. Cyberfrog is. Or any of that. But, uh, this is a reprint of the first ones, too, so I, I would have personally wanted it to uh, be more accessible to, to newbies, but uh, not the angle he wanted to go for, and that's cool. Obviously, has not hurt him. <laughs> it's doing great, and it deserves to. It's wonderful art, and I'm sure the, the story's uh, up a lot of people's alleys. And I'm glad it's getting re lettered. Uh, the lettering that uh, Eric Weathers is doing, which isn't this. The old letter lettering with uh, Kyle Ritter, who's an extremely talented guy. Uh, it's really made these pop. But, uh, yeah, the lettering is getting changed. And, and the previews I've seen of the previous lettering, which I would have at least put a panel of the, the, the new lettering up, because it's done. There's parts of the new lettering. Could have done that, Ethan. Uh, again, doesn't matter. He, he's got his crowd who will buy anything he puts out. So uh, if he's comfortable uh, in that, you can own that. Go for it. But, uh, yeah, check out Cyberfrog, too. It's a gorgeous book. I don't know the story too well. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of the creator myself. I love Kyle Ritter. He does great work, and he's a cool guy. Fan of the colors, for sure. But, uh, yeah, check out Cyberfrog. I mean, Rocklight posters, that's fucking cool. And the poster's fucking cool. But, yeah, again, um, not that accessible of a campaign page. But uh, he's not a new at all. At all. For the sake of <laughs> But, uh, um, yeah, check it out. God, he can do that few backers, too. Very cool. Very cool. But, yeah, that was the one thing on, on this campaign. Was like, it's not, uh, it doesn't sell Cyberfrog to a new audience. Uh, yeah, he says his campaigns are short on purpose for the backer, uh, assess quickly. Um, I, I get that, uh, without it being, you know, uh, his backers don't need to assess anything. That's my thing. His backers are going to, uh, so it's, it, it the, the campaign page isn't really even, uh, <laughs> and he's treating it like it is. That's my, my thoughts. I don't know if they're accurate. I saw this this come up. Uh, I don't know. It, it sounds pretty funny. <laughs> and they weren't asking for much, so I hope it works out. Uh, Bigfoot Bill. Of course, people are familiar with Duckton Apple and his work. We got a Sean Gordon Mor Murphy cover for it, which is wonderful. Sean Gordon Murphy just got more hammered on, on social media for normal person. That's great. But... Uh, you can snag all kinds of stuff. If I had the money, honestly, I do want Bigfoot Bill 1, 2, and Earthworm Jim. I want those books. I want this package, basically, right here. I can't afford them. Um, so right now, the only Doug Apple book I have is uh, Iron West, which I do recommend uh, tracking down from Image Comics. The fun journey. Also has a Bigfoot. <laughs> um, fun book. Doug Apple does fun stuff. Really fun. Works in fun. So I really appreciate that. <laughs> um, yeah, check out Bigfoot Bill. Doing pretty damn well. It could do a lot better, but it's not Earthworm Jim. So I get that. But, uh, looks good. The coloring isn't bad. I don't know. Like this page in particular, it's the, the coloring to my eyes is, isn't working. But this page works so i don't know i think it's the trying to make it dusk here kind of with bright colors just isn't working for me 
but the line art's fun, and there's all the cool end sheets, uh, hardcover books, all these quality, they're gonna last. Check it out. Uh, this is set up a little bit more to, to cater to newbie, which again, I appreciate. Uh, yeah, check it out. Check it out. too. Guy's doing well, never heard of him. Check this guy out. Then after that, we'll check out Firebitch. Because there's a few things to say about Firebitch. All right, Fey Archaic, a new fantasy graphic novel. I like the art already. Not a fan of the color. Again, coloring's kind of like flats, so it's old school comic coloring. But the line art, I like that line art. I like that line art a lot. Let's see, let's see. This guy's earned 8K last year. I'm very confused. So can you now like fund on Kickstarter and then bring it over to Indiegogo and they'll just they'll just count it? Well, I'm glad I looked at this. I, I have no idea if anybody in chat knows um, what it means with another platform, what, what that uh, qualifier means. And do that. That's frankly interesting that they want to count the money. So, so far, he's earned 200 bucks on Indiegogo. What I'm reading. And that uh, only six backers on Indiegogo. Yet it's on the trending. Confusing. Uh, it looks cool. It's old school comic art. Uh, the onomatopoeia there is really cool. Uh, it's got this. Uh, I like this kind of gritty art style quite a bit. And actually, the colors work a lot better. Oh wow, they look a lot better on the actual page than that single page. That that's gorgeous. This is the kind of busy artwork I can actually uh, get into. It's rare. Uh, busy artwork uh, works for me. Great colorist. Really make a difference. Ah oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, he deserves more than six backers on Indiegogo, folks. So uh, check out Conic, because look at this. Gorgeous. Yes. Yeah, oh, well. Who did all of this so that all of whatever's happening here draws more of the eye? Huh. That was a, a tier artistic aesthetic choice. Interesting. Yeah, it's pretty. Is hardcover too. Wow. Sixty eight pages you're doing a hardcover? A low for a hardcover, buddy. But okay. Well, uh, yeah, what am I talking about? I just read uh, War Machine, which is the first uh, Rogue Trooper book. Gorgeous. And uh, again another big art style, a real picturely style. It it couldn't have been. It's pretty, check that out. Check it out. He he does deserve more than six backers. He'll go anyway. There's more than two hundred backers. Well, Jack made that much money uh, with 500 backers. So, I don't know. Box of hardcover? Oh, hardcovers are tough. I'm not going to crack that shell till we're thinking about trade paperbacks. And we're not going to be thinking about trade paperbacks till, uh, till we fund three by four. All right, well, that was worth checking out. Now we're going to check out Fire Bitch. As a cosplayer's work, we're going to show you something a little little fishy about it. Little fishy. It was another platform, so that's part of it. So it's another book that was another platform. In fact, most of the backers were from the platform. So that's part of the fishy. That that helps. That helps. But yeah, there's no comments. Only one update. But it did just fund. She's ran a bunch of campaigns. Uh, she's a well-known cosplayer. Uh, the cover looks all right. Rear art piece. Definitely a sex sales book, no question. No question at all. Seriously, no interior art. Seriously? A second. I guess if it's a bunch of boo, uh, you can over over uh, uh, throw in. Good to know for anybody with boobs. Seriously, I've seen the same image like ten times. Where is the actual book? No interior art. No interior art. No letters. No nothing. 
I didn't come in here with that as my complaint. Okay. So that's what we get. So definitely no letters. Uh, barely any coloring. And on an image you can't see. Yeah, and on, on an image you can't see. Come on, girl. It was a comic. Not your boobs. Very odd. Very odd. Okay. Yeah, I actually was coming here for the, the point of the there's no comments with that much money and that many backers. But uh, it's only because 40 of the backers are actually on Indiegogo. But uh, again, yeah. Uh, no interior art. Very odd. Very odd. But uh, you go, girl. You go. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Now we're just going to, we're not actually going to look at it in the video. Should put more black bars. <laughs> El Crudo gets it. Really needs some more black bars. Wearing a shirt's a bad idea. Should have went with uh, black bars. He would buy that for it. I, I get that. A lot of people would. Just not, uh, no interior art for a comic. That's a, uh, that's a red flag if I ever done seen one. All right. So now we're going to see. This is trending, right? So these are the books that are making money or Good on these two, by the way. Check out Saving the World, please. It's a wonderful book. Hit their goal. They hit their stretch goal. It's not asking for much. They just want to print the book. It's a fun little story. Right here. Pitches. It's just a lot of fun. Check it out, please. He kept it simple as well. Like, tier. Not too much pitching. And I would have included a full interior page. There we go. That helps. Yeah, so there, there's a little bit of the idea of the... Okay. That helps. I would have still put it here. Personally. Check it out, folks. With your time. Good good creator. Um, fun guy. Always happy to... Uh, definitely deserves a little bit more backers. Only nine days. It'll really make, um, make a big difference in a small indie group. Back and save the world. Now here's Kyrie. Uh, again, I'm really hoping I'm pronouncing that right. Or Kyrie, I think. Actually, I just remembered. Yeah, Kyrie. Um, Matt was in here earlier. I'm not sure if he still is. Uh, it's a wonderful project. He's already released one book. This is actually co-funding both on Kickstarter and Indiegogo with a variant poster. I believe Indiegogo's is pink. Indiegogo pink or purple. Yeah, red. Whatever you call it. Uh, Kickstarters is green, uh, depending on which platform you prefer. If you would rather put your money down and forget about having to save the money, or like Kickstarter, you just want to back somebody and then plan on paying them if they fund. Uh, both those approaches are good. Why both uh, platforms survive. The book is gorgeous. The coloring is, the atmosphere and flavor is very fun. The lettering is a little much for me, but some people like those big letters. And, and bright, you know, noticeable, it can help a lot. Deals with uh, 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 old world occultism, which I'm always a, a big fan of. Creator's great. Definitely loves what he's doing. Those are the kind of creators you want. Ah, me look. Very cool. Guys, check out Kyrie. Glad that that neuron came back in. I was talking to him earlier on this same stream. I said Kyrie, like I did a second ago, because uh, I did not remember. <laughs> but uh, he's got a unique approach to this too. He wanted to fund, but then he's going to be funding longer and longer to make sure he actually gets real funds. Basically, um, it's a unique approach. Uh, I recommend checking out the campaign, reading, let you know kind of what's going on. And, um, why he's doing it this way and all of that. And yeah, it's a really pretty book. Check them out. You can get both the first book and the book. And that poster for 20 bucks. Uh, I know there's a one and two. Digital one. Get one and two. Oh, you can't get one and two together. See this. No, it's not that. Yeah, okay, yeah, this is book one. Okay, cool. I was going to say, that would be the silliest thing I ever see if you had to buy two different. 
No, you can get both together. Very cool. That's what I would get if I had the fun. Uh, 74 backers. Get them to 500, 600. Let's get them to 12,000 backers. 23 days. Completely achievable. Blow this out of the water and get some quality indie art out to Alright, and so now here, here's where we're going. Here's where we're going. This is why I'm going to start complaining. So, that makes sense. That's on there. But they ended. They failed. Why is it trending? Okay, fine. Fine. Whatever. This is still funding in demand. The way it's gold. Fine. That's trending. This ended. Not in demand. 110%. People really looking at it? I got this recommended to me. It, it, it's dead. You can't order it anymore. Why, why is it on trending? Abductables. Great book. Good creators. Not in demand, no. Nope. Why is it trending? Why is it trending? There's, there's no possible interaction on this book, on this site anymore. Why is it trending? Can it be there? Absolutely. But why is it in trending? This at 9%, 58 days left, so they launched two days ago at 425. Okay, sure. It's launched, it's, it, it's going. This, same thing, sure. You guys, fine. Not a high goal, they're not doing great. Why is it trending? This makes sense, fine. It's in demand. Let it trend. Maybe it's still selling enough books. Makes sense. There's orgasm growth. A couple days left. It should be trending higher. But it's not. Doesn't look like it might fund either unless he gets a really good day. I hope they do. This one, five days, four grand in. Very cool. It's a good looking book from what I've seen. It should be higher up in trending. She in demand. Fine. Looks like a lot of these are would be okay in my eyes. Now just wait. I don't think we're gonna find Jack. Just telling you now, if we do, I'm gonna be very impressed. A Titan. Great. This three days in at four four five. Fine. This is dead. Detective Dead. Detective Dead is so dead it's not even coming out and it's on trending. That that bugs me. Yes, of course. But it's been ended for months. Why is it on trending? You launched like three other campaigns that sold the same book. This campaign no longer members. Why is it taking a spot on trending? Oh, we did find Jack. Jack's right here. This is funding in demand. Fine. This is trying to fund, but it's only 2% in. That trend. Yeah, I know. Seeing Detective Dead there, there, man. Oh, that pisses me off. <laughs> Wampool. Wonderful book. I back that book. I love the creators. Shouldn't be trending still. Not in demand. It's not for sale. Star. That was from like a year and a half ago. Unless this is like a reprint. Probably is. Yeah, okay. That one's more recent, but it's ended. It's not in demand. Shouldn't be in trending. Here's here's Jack. Bottom of the fucking fucking thing. By far. Which, yeah, okay, fine. Fine, fine, fine. Still kind of the first page, kinda. Yeah, we're not getting that far. We, we've got a while to go. But there's a few campaigns up there. Doing less and getting less interaction. So what is the criteria for trending? God King's still in demand. It should be trending higher. Definitely higher than Jack. <laughs> Done. Ended campaigns should not make it onto trending. In demand or concurrent. Ended campaigns have no use in trending. Why are they here? What is the purpose? Napalm Brothers, another wonderful project. I recommend you guys check check out. It's at 286%, a great total raise. Why isn't it trending above me, let alone all this? I, it makes no sense, guys. That's all I'm trying to make the point, is that their system makes no sense. That's still going in demand. RT Bears, it should be above Jack. It should be way above a lot of those others. Fucking weird. Cash grab? That should be blowing us way up. That should be way up here, next to fucking Expendables, yeah? It was getting a huge amount of fire. It, it, it's got 20 days left and a huge amount of total... 
what are they doing? Is this hand curated? That's the only way I can figure this. And they're like, no, I don't do that. But if it's not hand curated and it is an algorithm, what the fuck? Grayscale, it funded last day. And it did great. It should be above Jack. <sighs> I don't understand, folks. I'm just venting my frustration. This guy did extremely well. But it's done. Why is it here? Or it should be higher than Jack. I don't, I don't get it. And like, look, look at this. Jack's trending above Mike Barron. He's already earned a lot more money. What's going on with trending? Desworn, wonderful book. Hell, Magic Cop should be up there. I don't get their criteria. There's no logic to it as far as I can tell. Which to me says there's a guiding hand and not an algorithm. Uh, literally, an algorithm is logic. That's what it is. It's a logic puzzle that the compute, the AI has to use to define things. There's no logic. I, I don't. Okay. There's no evident logic. Wonderful books. Tons of wonderful. There's fucking Sla Slaughter Squad. That should be up higher. He's been doing really good. <laughs> I don't know, folks. Man's venting my frustration with, uh, oh, let's see, Otis Framp, that ended a while back, and he didn't reach his goal. Why is it on trending? There's the original Kyrie, that's great. Why is it on trending? Admiral Pizza de deserved a lot more money. That suck. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But Admiral Pizza did. I love Admiral Pizza. Great guy. Funny ass books. Bill is great. <sighs> and see, now we're into to dead campaigns. That one's not dead. There's no... If you guys can point to me the logic, I will be extremely grateful. Every indie crew. Exceedingly. What the fuck is the logic here? There's no logic. And uh, only because Dollar Coins mentioned it am I looking for Cactus Coyotes. Yeah, and then why is this one that earned 90000 so much lower than the other one, even though it happened later? I, I don't see much it. I just take the money and run. Holy shit. There's my old campaign. Why is that anywhere near any of this? Why is this one lower than, than say, uh, 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 the Cyber Frog? Original. Why is why is Earthworm Jim here? If you're doing ended dead campaigns, is it by the percentage? Is it by 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 the money total? Is it by uh, uh, views per day? Is it what? What is it? Look, I don't I don't get it. I don't get it. Okay, you guys get the point. I think, but I was really hoping to find Cactus Coyote. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, it's probably on here. Ooh, you know what would be neat? What would be neat, Dollar Coins, is it, if it is literally the last project. I'd, I'd, have a, I'd have a sense of pride with it. We're looking for Cactus Coyote. <laughs> I don't think you can delete it, so it should be here. I mean, Vestige should be way up. That was the uh, Western. I'm not a fan of the creators whatsoever, but the concept, uh, the art looks but I would not trust those creators. In the... I had a knife. <laughs> but uh, that's just me. Uh, I've seen their interactions. I've seen how they go about things. But the book. We're on a hunt for Cactus Coyote. Oh, please don't reset the whole thing. I'll be super sad. It didn't reset the whole thing. Thank you. Ah, bah, 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 there should not be Sasquatch. Is it? I don't get it. I don't get it. Get it. Let me know. And then it did reset back to the top. Fuck you. No. Uh, bah, bah, bah. Yeah, still no Cactus Coyote. Well, at least that's being buried. <laughs> uh, yeah. That's still in... Uh, Super Harem still... Like... My main problem is ended campaigns should not have any factor in 
If they're in demand, fine. Ended campaign should not have any fat. Don't understand that. Taking away energy and space and like if you're looking through comics right now through trending, this is all the stuff you're seeing. And a lot of these you can't buy. So they're literally taking space from a comic that could be bought for no reason. There's no interaction that can happen with somebody buying, uh, looking through here and liking a comic that's ended. I, uh, I don't get it. I guess it is... It would be for if they're running another campaign, you can go look, but why would it be on trending? It shouldn't be trending. Yeah, I'm having a brain. It doesn't make sense. Sex, because I was reading Hex. <laughs> that's funny. Um, okay. Yeah, I don't think Cactus Coyote exists. I think it was just a... Uh... And then, then there's a there's there's his next uh, Cyberfrog thing. And it's all the way down here. So I kind of doubt his hand curation. I think it's just poor programming or something. Oh, boy, I don't know. Yeah, look, this one ended with less money than Cactus Cat. I really... This, too. Oh, it's not funding total. Is that it? Yeah, that was it. Cactus Coyote didn't even make the trending, brother. <laughs> Coyote didn't even make the trending. <laughs> There's ones that made like a dollar. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't get it. Okay, well, that's my problem with Indiegogo. You got to see all the projects that are up that are actually being shown in trending. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> didn't even make it, even though it, it, I'm so confused. I'm so confused. All right. I was going to do Kickstarter, but that took a long time. <laughs> that took like a really long time. We're going to see what time it is. Uh, we're almost at two hours. That's not too bad a time. Um, I think I'm going to try and uh, tweet out the link one more time, and I'm going to switch to having fun. That frustrates the hell. What is their criteria, folks? What is their criteria? Is there any logic? Because I can't see any. It's not money earned. It's not views. Or if it is a combination, then then there's an emphasis on one or the other that's just not logical. I I really, I don't know. I don't know, folks. But thank you for listening to me complain about that and, and uh, rage against the idea of what the hell. <laughs> but uh, it is what it is. Doesn't make any goddamn sense. It was all a dream. That's what I'm thinking, Dollar Coins. I guess we never did, did release that. You go, go says that we didn't. If the man says that's how it is, you gotta listen to the man. <sighs> Alrighty, though. Let's go ahead and refresh the campaign page. Sold a book. We're at that 27%. Maybe not. Answer was maybe. But we're almost there. I think we... No, we didn't. But uh, we're good now. It's a crawl. It's a crawl. A marathon, not a say a I'm gonna check a couple things. Then I gotta exit the internet part of this. Well, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Oh, oh, bum, 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 bum. I didn't hear. Oh, somebody did get get a hold of some of the links I was sending. Yes, that's that's nice. Well, I missed something. Okay, cool. Happy with the book. I like my book. I am happy with that. Okay, I didn't miss much. I want to close everything.
was all a dream. China erased us, but Coyote is shiftier. Than us. <laughs> I don't know, but that's a, that's a tough one. It's a tough one. I don't know who's shiftier. <laughs> I don't know. Carl's pretty shifty. So, okay, so I'm going to open Steam. We're going to play something. Oh, that's what I was going to do. That. I was going to retweet the link out again. Because, you know, I'm here. Folks are here. Other people could be here, too. See. Out there. Yep. Well, that was fun. I got to steam, blow off a little bit of steam with my, ups, you know, upsetness. A broken heart on how broken trending is. I was going to, again, I was going to check out Kickstarter and Kickstarter projects, but again, that took an hour on Indiegogo, and we spent an hour on Jack. That's, that's enough time. <laughs> I want to have some fun today. Kickstarter's not, uh, not that it's not fun. I don't know what I'd be doing. I'd be looking at projects, and I don't know Kickstarter well. Don't get images, tiers like you do on GoGo, and you have a lot less space to work with than you do on GoGo. And uh, there's a few other things, but I do know the, the comic community there's a lot older. <laughs> I guess is the best way. So it might be bigger, it might be about the same size, but it, it's been there a lot. Oh. oh, look at that. The second part of the uh, Halo collection came out, huh? We got the first Halo now. I got the first one. I got uh, I got that for like a, a day or two, the, the anniversary collection or whatever. Played a little bit of Reach, but I ended up needing the money more than the refund. I mainly wanted to see if it would work, so when I had the money, that plan actually worked just fine. Fine, just fine. Well, with Cactus Coyote being so shifty, so shady, your best chance is actually knowing him and contacting him directly. Go ahead and on Twitter, at Coyote Cactus, and, uh, you will find Cactus Coyote, uh, creator, dollar coins, doing his thing. Um, also, check out the manga, Cactus Coyote. Look up the shiftiest and shadiest Cactus Coyote. It'll probably be the first freaking thing that comes up. Or just go to Tapas. Uh, type in Cactus Coyote. Probably show right up. Cactus with the K. It ate your daddy's cactus. And uh, also check out um, everything else we're doing with that. We should have a 10-page ash can ready for Cactus Coyote here pretty soon. I don't know if that will actually become involved with Jack 3's campaign or not. Depends a lot on funding, as always. That's a good way to support us. Uh, let me see. So, yeah, 8,800 privacy traces just through what you guys were seeing me. I got a gnarly bug. <laughs> I'm waiting until I get to a, a new computer to reinstall Windows. Upgrade to Windows 10. I like Windows 7, though. <laughs> I don't wanna. I don't wanna go to ten. Ten is a fucking Orwellian nightmare. <laughs> God damn it. it. Is what it is. It's what it is. I have to go. Eventually, and that eventually will be if and when I can snag a new comp. All right. So we're waiting for it to to do some scans and then, um. I'm gonna try again. I think it's not gonna work. And then, if it does work, we'll play that. And if it doesn't, then uh, we'll do something else. My guess is it won't. So, uh, we'll see. It's relatively demand. Yes, is also. Two demands do not always work well together. Then I might call the street. I don't know. I'm tired. I'm tired. That's for sure. But, uh, old army. Ex uh, phrase I guess I've heard from a couple couple people, uh, mainly army brats. So they didn't quite go into the army, but they had the parents. So, uh, what gives you the right to give up just because you're tired? Uh, that's gotten me through a lot recently. So, uh, so yeah. 
We'll see. We'll see. I'm giving it some time. Give Um, sorry folks, it is still scanning my social media feed as I do. What oh, please strike is the shiftiest and cookiest are the most cookie. I, I I know you mean cookie, which I do believe is spelled the same as cookie. <laughs> Shifty and cookie. Cookiest. All right, so that should have worked. Oh, it didn't work because my internet. So uh, if the stream cancels, uh, apologies. I don't think that's how it works. I don't think you have to have the live streaming thing open. It just allows you to control it. So uh, apologies. I'll see you later if this closes. If not, uh, just a second. Got to run the thing again. Uh, Mozilla was open. You guys seeing these switch back and forth and it should be okay actually can't tell for streaming other bit uh maybe i'll reopen it after the privacy traces yeah see uh just closing and looking through social media i got another 400 privacy traces fucking a so now it's at 92.50 yeah this this poor thing it's hobbling along <laughs> the browser ain't helping him Oh, so we're going to let that do its thing. I'm going to hang out here for a moment. If you folks are in chat, have any questions about crowdfunding, comics, my my thoughts on either, um, that's why I'm here. If you want to ask something about Jack 3, please, please go ahead. Uh, otherwise, hang up, hang out for a few. Coyote does know how to rustle up a tin can sandwich. It's your daily vitamin T. You gotta get your vitamin T. Let's take it. Privacy traces. There you go. Zero. Why did you do erase zero when oh is it because i have chat open ah, rah, rah. okay i had to close my chat window too which is bitch i have a separate window i have to have okay here we go third time's the charm folks third time's the charm uh if the computer doesn't freeze and if you folks can still hear me um i can still kind of see chat there we go yeah no we're working Uh, will Coyote get another campaign, and when is Chapter 2 coming for Coyote? Well, I think we need to finish Chapter 1 first. A dollar. Buddy. Pal. Writer, creator of the thing you're asking about. <laughs> um, if we can finish Chapter 1, I think we go to Chapter 2, yeah? <laughs> um, but, um, so if, if we're talking about the manga, that's really up to you, brother. Feel like getting your mangaka hat back on. I'm happy to help however I can, as always. Um, if uh, we're talking about the full-fledged release that was for the campaign and another campaign, I yeah, I'll I'll jump right on that after Jack, uh, if you want. That right after Jack funds or fails, I guess it would be in April. Um, I'd be happy to do that. I just uh, I don't know, man. Really between you and I to kind of figure out what 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 you really what you feel you want. I am just happy and privileged to be able to help here and there. I fucking get rid of those. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Why aren't you getting that too? Gig of crap. Yeah. Whatever. Whatever, we did it. We did it, and I can kind of see chat a little bit. 
have to do. Oh, I can't see chat once I switch to the gameplay, though. Gagaz, gagaz. Uh... I wonder if it'll just open the chat window. I guess that works. It, uh, it opened both. Kind of crazy. That'll work, though. Okay. We'll see. We'll see. So now we're going to switch on over here. Chat, so I can chat. That's good. There's that. We're at two hours, one minute, thirty nine seconds. <laughs> uh, here we go. Close that actually. I'm gonna do because I'm not moving back and forth. I don't think it'll be a problem. We'll try this to see if it will stream because that'll let me know if the other one will stream, which I might uh, might do. My guess is this won't though. Again, folks, apologies. Oh crud! And there's uh, uh anybody else really hate that you have to have more than just Steam nowadays? Now, I, I buy a game through Steam, but no, it's got to open the Ubisoft browser. It has to. To be fair, I did get a benefit out of this once. I once uh, canceled. I bought The Division 2 through Epic Game Store because uh, they were doing a sale, and I didn't see the sale anywhere else, and I really wanted Division 2. So I did that, and then I refunded it, and I still had the game for like three on the Ubisoft store <laughs> for free. <laughs> so I, and I played it for those three weeks. Uh, I ended up having to actually buy the game again, but uh, I thought that was kind of funny. <laughs> that was kind of really funny. It took them that long to get on, on the fun front. I had my money. <laughs> I was gonna play online on the servers and everything. Uh, pirating without pirating. Is to know that it's possible. It's you got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I followed that account earlier. Dollar. I don't know why you're making a new one, but uh, I got you. Aaron, bitch. Got it, got it. I see you. All right, well, this is running good, but we're still not in game. Probably hear it. Later, probably reckon. I can't hear it now. So, come right up. Right. Oh. That window. But I'll leave that. Me luck, folks. Let's see if this will. Once it loads, is when we will. Let's start a new game. Guide me. See if it works. It may not work. My guess is it won't work. But man, I played the crap out of this. It got me right away. I wanted to play it for since it came out. I was told it would only play on Windows 10 by Ubisoft. I check on Steam and it work on Windows 7. So when it was on sale, I tried it, and it ran beautifully on my PC. I was lied to. So I, I really, I jumped right into the shit out of it the last couple of days. So this is just cleaning up side missions. And then I went and got uh, Far Cry New Dawn. And that one I started and at all. I was really hoping I'd like Post-apocalyptic. So we'll see. I, I did not... Uh, Get too far. But I also want to beat this one and then uh, the side uh, campaigns in Far Cry 5 also. 
one on the moon or on Mars, excuse me. Vietnam. And a little. Playable. Let's see. Cool if it's playable and I don't even have to fuck with the setting. And it's a little choppy. About that. Oh, I know what I can do. Yeah, you bought a bunch of games. Let me know, Dollar Coins. Let me know about Kingdom Hearts 3 because it has a lot to live up to. Hell, Kingdom Hearts 1, which I never really got too far into, uh, didn't live up to 2. <laughs> I played 2 first. <laughs> so. My. I really want to knock that down. I know what I wanted. Or we'll knock it down. Standard. I did it. Barely noticeable. Too. I mean, it's noticeable. It's kind of foggy. Barely noticeable. All right, let's do something then. See if it actually works. Oh, I was doing something. Okay. Oh, yeah. So I played this last. Trying to get to that, and I got really sick. Fucked with me. Really does that. I, I was playing for a while. I put, what, 30 hours into this in the last. I guess it's Friday. <laughs> Rest was doing the campaign to work. <laughs> so. Oh no, it wouldn't be since Friday. It would be or something, and then Friday instead of worked. Yeah, I don't know. Oh. oh yeah, you don't get up there. Couldn't find where they were asking. That was the end. definitely a parkour bit. Oh damn it! Locked out. Can't climb up that bit. Jumps over that. Not. How'd you get up there? Well, now you're just mocking me, peaches. Mock me. Mock me. Don't you mock me, cougar. How the fuck do peaches get up there? Animals can rarely climb anything. That's a big deal. Usually they can't follow you anywhere, but you can climb. How the fuck did peaches get up there? Show me the way, peaches. Oh, there's a bear. Yell at me all you want. Get up here, you're a bear. Alright, so I guess we're gonna look around the building. Because somehow Peach's got it. Oh. Oh! I gotta turn on that power. Oh, I got this far last time. I this could, there's like generators here, but I can't figure. Yeah, these. I'll see a switch. Like, I got in there before, too. Like, that, I guess, is the switch. Yeah, but they don't have a. Maybe they have an impact. I guess we're gonna find out. Yeah, I don't think I have to go up there that way. Alright, alright. Oh. <laughs> no. Way! Yeah. Like, you can get up here, but I don't know why you'd want up here. Then these buttons, or something. They don't. Damn it! I remembered right. They don't do anything. Generator. Of course, I can't do that because I'm old. 
Hey, is this what you want? Give it to you. To the power. You have to help me give the power. I can't just be. Tell me how. Power. Alright, we're doing something else. Can't get the power. <laughs> That says side mission. All right. Uh. <laughs> problem. Yeah, Wolverines are a problem. Oh, you were target practicing. Of sea Good. Where that bunker for? Got it. I was gonna borrow your car. Okay, it's a little choppier on stream than it actually is with me. It was just, oh, it's good for me. Let me know if it's annoying for you. Not have the radio plans. Hey, someday I get monetized. <laughs> Killed. Someone's been stealing supplies from Eden's gate out by that off the bridge. Hope can't find the thief. I reckon they're hiding right under their nose. Okay. You look like you can handle a weapon. I can't. You. As a deal. Morbid curiosity. That's how men read. Can't wait to repurpose this stuff and use it against those bastards. Nice looking much you got there. Still a few Wish I lived in dog ears. Hey, you wanna do me a solid? Great job getting this place back from the cult. Gee. Squad tried to defend the garage, but they were too much for us. We got caught and they locked us up. They were gonna decide if we go to John, Jacob, or Faith. You could sweep the area all and free the rest of my that. squad, I'd be obliged. I just need a bit of time to catch my breath. Oh man, it's been like a while. Sure, I'm sure they're fine. They sure they're fine. All the time. <laughs> Not like they start to death. Sure, sure, everybody's okay. Uh, squad, supposed to find the rest of you, but you did it, deputy. Is squad hanging on the wall behind the counter? I'm sure it's near the counter. Oh, the washroom taking a shit. Apologies, that got hairier than a dog's belly. Thank goodness you helped. You're welcome. You're a cougar. You can't drink the water again. That's a bear. That's a bear. Oh, 
Sorry, guy. Wrong place, wrong time. God. I mate. Thought I heard another bear, but I don't believe it. Not quite uh, sporting. Dead guy. Did starve. What happens as a starving people? Me. Oh, there we go. I feel like taking someone else's junk and turning it into something useful. Right. Hey, kid. Glad you were here. How you doing? Yeah, let's not do that again. The local gal's been bothering the cougars, asking if we can retrieve some personal items that the cult took from her. We can't really spare anyone right now, but if you're out her way, maybe you can check in on her. Cool, no side mission. We'll keep things settled down here. The garage. Spend them all. This point. Anyway. Next to the little automobile. Hey there, gorgeous. There was a time no uh, Western uh, religious leader would be caught in the dead. Goddamn man. Goddamn man. Get your dog birded. A good year for Camaro. For the scene. Yeah. That's it. That way, there's not usually much noticeable difference in the world. Let's have some. Wendell. I was happy to play a game that just freaked me. Bit lie. <laughs> the cult are fucking narcos. Cultivate their flowers, process them, then they cook it all into the bliss. That, that old brewery is the final step. Taking that place out will cripple them. Oh, is there enough one of those? Oh, that's what we're gonna do. That's always fun. Another one of those cult hideouts? Oh. I think I will. There is one. Might not even be free. There it is. That's the one. <laughs> Woo. All right. Well, that's what I wanted to do. Murder and why he knows about there, but it's helpful. God, this game's story. Rough. What a, what a bad story. Especially for such an open storyline. Run out of order. God, the thematics. They just, I guess that's Far Cry, though.
of this place without you, bud. Hundreds have died within the last three Who's days. Who's this Officials Boasting initial praise is a viral outbreak. Fuck. Initial Need some walking though. Yeah, it's what shop your guys in. Well, let me know if it's a coin or unwatchable, or if anybody's even watching. I'm gonna try and go for another uh, hour mark. It's two roll. Check. Basically, I'm gonna take out this cold outpost and go on continue. Ah, that's far away. Cars are from Fuck. Yes, you're a friend. Fuck oh. it. Montana. Montana. <laughs> Montana! Parachute into a river. Aw, oh, says you can't. Aw, oh, it's still bliss in view? Blew up all the bliss and killed the bit. Open the water in her place with clean now. All high and fucked up from it. <laughs> I guess that's just asking you, but. Not hunting pronghorn. Yeah, some blow up over there. Oh. Another tip. Want to fly? What else to wear? Ow. Out my cougar. All right, here. You fucking crazy. America. You got yourself a friend for life. Car is now a freedom car. The van. Speed up. That uh. And uh, I wanted to smash through that. Yeah, it's there, but uh, apparently that's not going to happen. <laughs> There's an achievement, or uh, what they call it, chapel. Oh, now there's a sniper now. Winchester 4570 is not the. Reinforcements for who? You guys don't even know what's going on. He hit my cat. What a dick. Oh, they've got a mortar. That's good. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I'm, I'm pretty glad I decided to move. Oh, that's the last mortar shell. Get him, Coon! Get him! Get him, Peaches! Flaming Peaches. Peaches a la flambe. Okay, Peaches. Go back, Peaches. 
Gonna die, Peach. There goes Peaches. <laughs> Just uh, coming back is not good. Fire. Well, I guess we're gonna do it this way. We'll try quiet. Besides a lot of beer. Sweet drugging. Fiery kitty. The cult's been using that old brewery to cook bliss. Driving them out's gonna go a long way to helping us. Plus, I might be able to find a halfway decent beer around here. Hell of a job, Rook. That was that. I really want that. <laughs> you did the right thing. I hear there's been a bunch of cold traffic around the old sulfur mine. Hell, that place is massive. You know they gotta be hiding something good in there. I think it's worth the risk. Alright, well, I'm gonna return my settings to what neat that it worked. Really did not expect all. Playable. 